Tanzania is a country on a mission, aiming to become a middle-income country by 2025. And they're doing it with an ambitious five-year development plan that covers everything from agriculture to good governance. The best part? Tanzania's current and first female president, Samia Sululu Hassan, is championing this initiative. With a focus on improving agriculture, industry, infrastructure, human development, and governance, Tanzania is taking the lead in infrastructure development in Eastern Africa. The plan, called the Third National Five-Year Development Plan, covers the period from 2021 to 2026 and targets the five key development areas, agriculture and natural resources, industry and trade, infrastructure, human development, and good governance. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of 15 of Tanzania's most significant ongoing mega-projects, including the Standard Gauge Railway and the Julius Nyerere International Airport Terminal 3. We'll explore how these projects are changing the country and the region of Eastern Africa, boosting the economy, creating job opportunities, and improving connectivity. With stunning visuals and straightforward explanations, we'll show you how Tanzania's ongoing mega-projects are paving the way for a brighter future for the country and the entire East African region. So join us as we delve into Tanzania's development plan and explore the 15 ongoing mega-projects that are changing the face of the region. 15. Fishing Port in Kilwa District Tanzania's government has recently begun construction on a US$1,253,724 modern fishing port in Kilwa, Lindi region. The agreement for the execution of this project was signed in June 2022, and it is expected to be completed and operational in 24 months, according to Abdullah Ulega, Deputy Minister for Livestock and Fisheries. Zainabu Kawawa, Kilwa District Commissioner, confirmed that preliminary construction preparations, such as a geological investigation of the soil, have begun. Once completed, the new port will have the capacity to produce 60,000 tons of fish per year, with some exported to neighboring countries. Tanzania's government intends to buy fishing boats for the port as part of a strategy to capitalize on the country's blue economy. It also intends to create a business-friendly environment with the port in order to attract both foreign and domestic investors with the ultimate goal of increasing the blue economy's contribution to the national economy. The port is being built as part of the Resilient Natural Resource Management for Tourism and Growth Regrow, project, which aims to improve protected area management and promote tourism in the country. 14. East African Crude Oil Pipeline, ECOP The East African Crude Oil Pipeline, ECOP, also known as the Uganda-Tanzania Crude Oil Pipeline, ATCOP, is a 24-diameter pipeline that is under construction between Uganda and Tanzania. The pipeline, with a planned capacity of 216,000 barrels of crude oil per day, starts in Buzaruka sub-county, Hoima district, in Uganda's western region and in a general southeasterly direction to pass through Rikai district in Uganda, Bukoba in Tanzania, loop around the southern shores of Lake Victoria, continue through Shinyanga and Singaida, to end in Tanga, a distance of approximately 1,410 kilometers. The total cost of the project was reportedly 5 billion US dollars as of August 2021. Of the total, 2 billion US dollar will be raised by the owners of the pipeline who include Total Energies, China National Offshore Oil Corporation, Uganda National Pipeline Company, and Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation as equity investment. The remaining 3 billion US dollar will be borrowed from external sources. The ECOP project has undergone several delays and negotiations since its inception. It received final investment approval in April 2021, and construction is expected to begin in the near future. The estimated timeline for completion and commencement of operations is around 2025. Once completed, the East African Crude Oil Pipeline ECOP, will be the longest heated crude oil pipeline in the world. 13. Kishapu Solar Power Station the Kishapu Solar Power Station is a proposed 50 MW, 67,000 horsepower solar power plant in Tanzania. The power station is under development by Tanzania Electric Supply Company Limited, Tanesco, the National Electricity Monopoly Utility Company. The energy will be integrated into the national grid, 
also operated by Tonesco. The solar farm will be developed in phases to capacity of 150 megawatts. When completed and commissioned, it will be the largest grid-ready solar power station in the country. The power station would be located in the Kishapu district in the Shinyanga region of Tanzania. The town of Kishapu, which is the district headquarters, is located approximately 58 kilometers 36 miles east of Shinyanga, the regional capital. Kishapu is located approximately 536 kilometers 333 miles northwest of Dodoma, the capital city of Tanzania. The solar farm is bordered on one side by the 220 kV Sing Ida Shinyanga High Voltage Power Line. The solar farm helps Tanzania diversify its electricity generation mix with clean carbon dioxide free energy. Another objective is the modernization of the Tonesco grid. A new national grid control center will be established in Dodoma. A distribution control center with a distribution management system will also be installed in key urban locations, including Arusha, Dodoma, Bea and Mwanza. The energy generated at this power station is expected to stabilize the grid and reduce technical losses. 12. Sambawanga Airport Project the expansion and renovation of the Sambawanga Airport in Tanzania's Rakwa region has got underway, according to the Tanzania Road Agency, 10 Roads. In April, 10 Roads awarded a 55.9 billion Tanzanian shillings, 23.3 million US dollars, contract to Beijing Construction Engineering for the expansion and renovation of the airport. The contact period is 18 months, with a defect liability period of 12 months. Sambawanga Airport currently has a 1,516-meter-long, 30-meter-wide gravel-level runway. The project will extend the runway to 1,750 meters. 11. Kokono Hydropower Project The Kokono Hydropower Project, HPP, with a proposed capacity of 87.8 MW, MW, is an important initiative in the energy sector aimed at driving economic growth and creating an inclusive and competitive economy. The implementation of the Kokono HPP involves the construction of two main structures, a concrete faced rock fill dam, measuring approximately 42 meters in height and 1,380 meters in length, and a gravity roller compacted concrete dam, with a height of about 61 meters and a length of 284 meters. The project will harness the hydropower potential through an outdoor powerhouse located at the base of the dam. 10. Pemba Airport Expansion The revolutionary government of Zanzibar, SMZ, has signed a contract to upgrade Pemba Airport to international status with contractors Propev JV of Brazil and MECO, work that is expected to be carried out in two phases. Upon completion of construction work in 2025, President Mwini says the facility will open up Zanzibar economically because it will allow large aircrafts to land on the island of Pemba. Pemba Airport has the capacity to serve 45,000 passengers per year, but it now serves 110,000 passengers per year and upon completion, the new airport will have the capacity to serve 750,000 passengers per year. The signing ceremony between the Ministry of Works and the contractors was witnessed by President Hussein Wini at State House Zanzibar. The preliminary designs of terminal building in an area of 14,000 square meters with a value of $230 million and a runway with a length of 2.5 kilometers have been completed. But since only $170 million has been secured, construction will be done in two phases, said the Minister for Transport, Works and Communication Dr. Khalid Salem Mohammed. According to him, the agreement that was signed was for the first phase of the construction which will cover 74% of the entire project. Dr. Mohammed said that apart from the construction of the airport, the contract will also include the construction of Anguja and Pemba roads, increasing the size of the airport building from 6,890 square meters to 9,170 meters and the runway from 2,200 to 2,510 meters. 09 Dodoma City Outer Ring Road 110.2 km Construction Project 
The project is a direct response to the need for improved logistic services to cope with the expected population boom and expansion of economic activities in the political capital of Dodoma. It comprises construction to bitumen standard of a new dual carriageway outer ring road of 110.2 km around Tanzania's capital city, Dodoma. The project provides vital infrastructure necessary for a more efficient development of the fast-growing Dodoma metropolitan region. Furthermore, it will also greatly boost regional integration for Tanzania and its neighbors given that the project site lies at the crossroads of two major continental road corridors, I, the central corridor which connects the port city of Dar es Salaam to the Tanzanian interior and, two, the Trans-African Highway 4, TAH4. The project will also contribute to easier and faster transportation of tourists and agricultural produce within and outside Dodoma city slash region. It has four main components, namely, I, road construction and supervision, two, related development and empowerment of women, three, capacity building, and four, project management. 08. Bomber Bay Port Project The talks of the project began during the early 2000s where leaders of the four SADC community members met to create a shorter-slash-alternative path for cargo into the region from the Dar es Salaam port. The last time the region saw a major infrastructure investment was during the colonial times. The Mtwara port and a minor railway link was developed during the British colonial times as part of the failed Tengeni Ica groundnut scheme. Post-colonial times the south of Tanzania had seen very little development and was often neglected in infrastructure projects as the region brought very little revenue to the coffers. Fast forward to 2023, the project is now a reality. The Mtwara development project is a major infrastructure development project involving southern Tanzania, northern Mozambique, eastern Malawi and eastern Zambia. The goal of this project is to provide road, rail and waterway access from the surrounding region to the port of Mtwara. The region and the corridor has been neglected by the respective governments for over 40 years and the recent discovery of oil, gas and various minerals has kick-started the development of the project. A road and rail link is to be built from the port of Mtwara to Mbomba Bay on Lake Nyasa to link Malawi to the corridor and further road links into Mozambique will facilitate access to northern Mozambique. The port will be accompanied with an export processing zone to help fast-track the regional economy and bring in revenue for the port. The special zone saw an investment of over $700,000 in December 2015 from the Dar es Salaam based firm Oli Star Free Ports Limited. Over 100 hectares, 250 acres, have been set for an industrial zone and over 400 hectares, 990 acres, have been set for oil slash gas activities. 07 New Likongo Mchinga Liquefied Natural Gas Plant the mega-project located at Likongo, Nchinga in Tanzania will be the most expensive liquefied natural gas plant in the region, expected to cost 30 billion US dollars. It is anticipated to be complete in 2028. In 2019, the Tanzanian government held talks with a group of foreign oil and gas companies led by Norway's Equinor. The companies involved included Royal Dutch Shell, ExxonMobil and Ofo Energy, and Pavilion Energy. The international oil companies, IOCs, will develop the project in partnership with the state-run Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation, TPDC. The LNG plant is expected to spur the country's economic growth by about 2%. Tanzania has over 57.54 trillion cubic feet TCF, of natural gas in its recoverable reserves, of which some of the gas it already uses for power generation and running of manufacturing plants. A report released by consultancy firm PwC in 2019 showed that Eastern Africa countries, led by Tanzania, have increased investment in infrastructure projects in the past five years. Tanzania is ahead in terms of the value and number of projects launched by June last year, helped by the new Likomomchinga LNG plant. Upon completion, the Likomomchinga LNG plant will have capacity to produce 10 million tons per annum MTPA, of liquefied natural gas. 06. Tanzania's Kigongo Busisi Bridge on Lake Victoria The government of Tanzania is funding the construction of the 265 million US dollars Kigongo Busisi Bridge. 
Construction began in February 2020 and is expected to be completed in February 2024. Two Chinese contractors, the China Civil Engineering Construction Group SEC, and the China Railway 15th Bureau, are making progress with work on the 3.2 km bridge over a ferry crossing on Lake Victoria. The bridge will span across the Gulf of Mwanza, a 30km inlet on the lake south shore between Kigongo and Busisi, and link Tanzania to Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Burundi by road. The road construction consists of the widening of 1.66 km of the existing road from two lanes to four. These approach roads tie in from the existing surfaced road to the new bridge. For construction purposes the bridge and roads have been combined in one contract, single lot, covering bridge and road segments, said Pascal Ambrose, manager at Tanzania National Roads Agency, 10 Roads, in Mwanza. Currently, ferries carry approximately 1,600 vehicles daily, but it is expected that the bridge, with a capacity of 180 tons, will accommodate significantly higher traffic volumes. It will improve ambient air quality and reduce traffic volume to the ferry through diversions. The bridge will also reduce travel time by cutting crossing time from 35 minutes by ferry to 4 minutes by automobile and improve safety and public transport, according to 10 roads. The project scope comprises two major components, bridge works and road works. Bridge works include the construction of an extra dose bridge, 520 meters, along with two approach bridges. 05 Msaloto International Airport After weighing the options, the government of Tanzania has opted to construct a new Greenfield International Airport that will serve Dodoma, the country's capital city, with funds borrowing funds for the project from the African Development Bank AFDB. The funding package for the project comprises a US $198.6 million loan from the AFDB, US $23.52 million from the African Development Fund, and US $50 million in co-financing from China's Africa Growing Together Fund, which the AFDB manages. Msalato International Airport will be a three-story terminal facility for leaving and incoming passengers with a capacity of 1,500,000 people per year is part of the infrastructure involved. There is one main runway that is 3,600 meters long and 60 m wide, with two taxiways and two parking aprons that can handle numerous A330 aircraft at the same time. Departure and arrival gates, fences, airport roadways, and automobile parking yards are all included. Radar equipment, a control tower, a fire station and related firefighting equipment, an airplane fueling station, a water distribution and supply system, a dedicated system supplying electricity with backup plan, and a meteorology station are all part of the operations infrastructure. 04. Samir Complex Dodoma City is expected to upsurge its vibrant pace, thanks to the much-anticipated Samir Complex project. According to the head of state of Tanzania, Samir Sululu Hassan, the complex will be one of its kind. The complex will contain a large conference hall with a capacity to house between 2,000 and 3,000 persons. According to Dr. Samir, at the complex, the government will also construct residential houses for very important persons, VIPs. The VIPs will be able to stay in the area and remain comfortable, especially in the neighboring East African Community EAC. Additionally, Southern Africa Development Community SADC, will be much factored in. The president said that the drawings had already been accomplished, maintaining that construction works would kick off any time facilities at Samir Complex include a large Zanzibar lounge, which will help the country to advertise Zanzibar's tourist destinations. We expect also to construct the East Africa lounge and a ground for golf expected to attract many persons, said Dr. Samir. The Samir Complex, she added, is expected to embrace an airstrip where people can land and leave at will. Furthermore, there will be a sports ground and a special place for visitors and locals to learn the history of prominent leaders. The history displayed will be for leaders in the country and the continent at large. 03 Lindy Jumbo Graphite Project As of 2019, Tanzania's estimated graphite reserves stand at 18 million tons ranking fifth in the world after Turkey, 90 million tons, 
China, 73 million tons, Brazil, 72 million tons, and Mozambique, 25 million tons. The 100% owned high-grade, high-margin, Large Flake Lindy Jumbo Graphite Project is located in southeastern Tanzania approximately 200 km from the port of Mtwara. The high-grade resource outcropping at surface boasts the highest reserve grade of any undeveloped graphite project in Africa of 5.5 metric tons at 17.9% total graphitic carbon TGC. The high reserve grade and extraordinary distribution make Lindy Jumbo an exceptional project in the graphite world. The battery industry is due to become the largest sector of demand for the graphite supply chain market. Lindy Jumbo is expected to produce about 25% of its product suite, or around 10,000 tons per annum, to supply energy storage applications. The project complies with the local content laws of Tanzania, implementing a fully outsourced operating model whereby the key components of mining, treatment, logistics, and camp accommodation are outsourced to local Tanzanian contractors, which is further complemented by the debt finding through CRDB Bank of Tanzania. 02 Begamoyo Port The Begamoyo Port is said to be constructed in Begamoyo, Tanzania. It is planned to be one of the largest government infrastructure projects in the country. The Begamoyo port and its affiliate industrial zone is meant to address congestion at the old port and support Tanzania to become East Africa's leading shipping and logistics center. The port is set to handle 20 million tube by 2045 and will be the largest port in East Africa when completed. The port is to handle 25 times the amount of cargo of Dar es Salaam port and will help reduce the congestion at the port. The project also involves the construction of a special economic zone adjacent to the port. Also to be constructed around Begamoyo area are over 190 industries, including the manure processing industry that will be put up by the government of Oman. When fully developed, the Begamoyo Special Economic Zone will attract about 700 industries to become a strategic investment zone in East Africa. The Chinese and Oman firms were supposed to invest in the project, but they dropped out. Other foreign companies have shown interest to invest in the project. The project also includes a 1700 ha special industrial zone. The special economic zone is funded by the government of Tanzania and the state government reserve fund from Oman. The port is being constructed by China and the industrial zone will be constructed by Oman and administered by Export Processing Zone Authority of Tanzania. The industrial zone will also have rail links to the Tazara Railway and Tanzanian Central Railway. All these at a total cost of $11 billion. Zero 01 Tanzania SGR project This 2707 km railway line is intended to ease the transfer of goods between the port of Dar es Salaam and the cities of Kigali in Rwanda and subsequently to Bujumbura in Burundi and to Goma in the Democratic Republic of the Congo From the lake port of Mwanza surface water ferries are expected to transport goods between Mwanza and Port Bell and Bukosa inland port in Kampala Uganda's capital city the SGR system in Tanzania, in conformity with neighboring Rwanda and Uganda is designed to use electricity to power its locomotives. The SGR is expected to accommodate passenger trains traveling at 160 km 99 miles per hour and cargo trains traveling at 120 km 75 miles per hour. The railway system would consist of several major phases. Phase 1 Dar es Salaam, Morogoro section, the first phase has been completed in April 2022 currently in live testing phase. It covers the distance of 300 kilometers, 186 miles, from the city Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. This section, measuring 300 kilometers, 186 miles, was contracted to a 50-50 consortium comprising Yopi Makizi of Turkey and Motor Angel of Portugal. Construction began in April 2017 and Yopi Makizi have been showing the progress of construction with monthly video reports on YouTube. Partial funding for the section, amounting to 1.2 billion US dollars, was borrowed from the Export Credit Bank of Turkey. There are six stations, Dar es Salaam, Pugu, Soga, Ruvu, Njerenjara and Morogoro. Three trains will make daily round trips. With infrastructure complete electrical test, and live train trials began in late April 
2022. The second phase covers a distance of approximately 426 kilometers, 265 miles, from Morogoro via Dodoma to Mokitopara in Menyoni district, Singaida region. In September 2018, the government of Tanzania secured a soft loan from Standard Chartered Bank, amounting to 1.46 billion US dollars, for the funding of this section of the country's SGR. This section was also contracted to the consortium that is constructing the Dar es Salaam Morogoro section. The stations after Morogoro will be Mkota, Kilosa, Kidit, Galwi, Iganda, Dodimo, Bahi, and Makutapara. As the end of July 2022, the work was reported as having reached 90% and would be completed by DEC 2022.I in February 2023. The monthly filming by the main contractor showed work unfinished but good progress made from the previous month. Phase 3, aka Phase 3, Lot 1. Makutupura, Tabora section, the third phase will cover from Makutupura to Tabora which includes 7 stations and 294 km of mainline and 74 km of intersections for a total of 368 km at a cost of $1.9 billion, TZS 4.41 trillion. The contract has been awarded to Yopi Markizi who has constructed the first two phases. The foundation stone was placed in April 2022 with work to start immediately. Phase 4 aka phase 3, lot 2. Tabora, Isaka section, the fourth phase will cover Tabora to Isaka, 130 km, 81 miles. As of August 2022, the Tabora, Isaka section it has been awarded to Yopi Markers and work is in the mobilization stage. Phase 5, Isaka, Mwanza section, this section, measuring approximately 341 km, 212 miles from Isoka to the city of Mwanza on the southern shores of Lake Victoria. In January 2021, the Citizen newspaper reported that two Chinese companies had been selected to construct the section of the SGR. China Civil Engineering Construction CCEC, and China Railway Construction Company CRCC, were selected to carry out the work at a contract price of approximately TZS 3 trillion approximate. 1.3 billion US dollars. Later that month, the East African reported that Tanzania had secured funding worth 1.32 billion dollars through the government of China for the purpose of building this section of the SGR. This section is under construction. Phase 6, Taborikigoma, this section, measuring approximately 506 kilometers, 314 miles, from Tabora to Kigoma on the eastern shores of Lake Tanganyika. The contract was signed on December 20, 2022 between the government of Tanzania and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation SEC, and China Railway Construction Company CRCC, for the construction of the railway. In conclusion, Tanzania's 15 ongoing projects are a testament to the country's commitment to sustainable development and economic growth. From the Standard Gauge Railway to the Julius Nyeria Hydropower Plant, these projects are transforming the country's infrastructure and creating new opportunities for investment and trade. As Tanzania continues to push forward with these ambitious initiatives, it's important to stay informed and engage with the latest news and updates. By subscribing to our channel, you'll gain access to exclusive content and in-depth analysis of Tanzania's ongoing projects and their impact on the country and the wider region. So why wait? Subscribe now and join our community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the future of Tanzania and Africa as a whole. Ciao ciao.